you know, did they have any time beforehand to kind of like establish a rapport? Did you make them like drive a very long way to get to get to get to filming? So they had to like talk yeah, to each right. other or together from L.A. to Louisville together. <laughs> no, no, we didn't. Hey everyone, it's David Stark from Watcher Pass. Today I'm talking to Carrie Belessa, Summer Belessa, and Joseph Restano about Amber Alert, which is coming to select theaters and on demand on September 27th, 2024. I'm going to talk to them right now. And while you're watching, if you can like and subscribe to this channel, that would be fantastic. I'll spend a lot. Thank you. So thanks so much for joining me today. I've got Carrie Belessa, Summer Belessa, and Joseph Restano talking about Amber Alert, which is coming to select theaters on September 27th, 2024. It's also coming to digital that day. It is a thriller about like everyone has, I think, thought about this situation. It's a thriller about a situation that everyone has kind of visualized with a fantastic cast, a really tense setup, and some twists along the way. I am very excited to talk to you all. So thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Of course, of course. So, Carrie, you wrote this. What horrible thing did you witness, or were you just stuck in LA traffic on, behind an Amber Alert, and you're like, I wonder if anyone actually ever calls these things in? Like, how did you come up with this idea? Uh, I was actually, Summer and I were driving from LA to Phoenix to visit Summer's mom, and we saw an active Amber Alert. But, you, but you, you saw the alert or you saw the car? We saw the uh, the alert. Okay. But after seeing that, I gripped the wheel a little tighter. I asked Summer if there's a bat in the car because we're going to find this, run it off the road. And, and I was like, whoa, guy. whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think if there's a child in there, you should probably not run it off the road. Yeah. So we went back and forth for about an hour and a half about what we would do. What if this was the car? All the questions. And that was the genesis of the idea. Went home that night, scoured the internet. I was like, this idea is so good. It's simple. Why hasn't anyone done it? And that's kind of how we got here. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. I mean, like, yeah, thinking about this idea, it's almost like the perfect indie film because you have a small cast, you have relatively easy filming, just filming the car going around, you know, it depends on how, ex you know, exciting you want to make it. But I think this kind of balances that like slow build up with some exciting and creepy stuff down the road. So that, that is a brilliant idea for a movie. Yeah. Literally down the road. We, we agree. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, so how much of your like brainstorming did you bring? I didn't, I didn't think there was a bat, but I don't remember. I saw this a, a couple days ago. I don't think there was a bat in there, but how much of your brainstorming kind of made it into the final product or was that just the Genesis and then you just built it out? Uh, it was kind of built out after all of that. There's a lot of different iterations, probably different scripts that we all read. Um, but it was, that was kind of just the setup. And then we had to go into how are we going to tell the story? How are we going to get this first act? Um, and so, yeah, we had a long time to kind of figure all those pieces out. We had years and years and years. <laughs> sounds, sounds like a pandemic planning project that uh, that happened. <laughs> yeah, well, we saw this Amber Alert in 2000, January of 2010. And now we are 2024. So, yeah. And unfortunately, we still need Amber Alerts, which, uh, you know, I guess is a, is a commentary about society. Um, so, Summer, I think I kind of it sounds I know how you got involved. Joe, how did you get into this project? I mean, did you did you help with this idea in 2010? Or did you come on as it was like getting ready to be filmed? No, it was like back in I think it was 2021. Um, we were we've done several films with Lionsgate, my company, and Carrie pitched this project to some Lionsgate representatives over there. They loved it. They were like, this is a great, you know, great project. So they set us up kind of like matchmaker situation. Yeah. You know, we like, did like a Zoom. It was like Tinder. Yeah, it was like a, it was like a we matchmaker thing in what, 20 March. It was a oh, March, March of 2021. 2021, we had our yeah. first Zoom. Yeah, and and at the time that, you know, it was, you know, we read the script, we we connected. Um, Lionsgate believed in the project and and then we started putting it, putting it together. That's um, awesome. Was there any like, you know, I assume there was some like double entendre messages going back and forth before just to kind of get a feel for the personality before you actually like Zoom, right? Because it's like Tinder, you got to like make sure that you, your personalities match. I think like, you know, we had a good body of work in 21. We had, you know, Carrie was a fan of a couple of our, a couple of our films and, and it was like, all right. So, and we, we had success with Lionsgate projects in the past. You know, and then yeah, we kicked and, we hit yeah, off with the basketball. All, yeah, we yeah. all hit it off right off the bat. Like it was like awesome. Yeah, I love Joe, Pig. Um yeah. that their company did it was really good. 
And so, yeah. Yeah. So like right off the it. bat, it was like, all right, these are the right partners. We know that we can do this. And it was like, no turn them back. That's awesome. And yes, I, I saw you did pig and I was like, that's amazing. Like I loved pig. I'm so glad that it got made. It was, it was just such a, a, a weird revelation. So that is enough of a, of a resume for anyone, I think, to go make a movie yeah. with you. Yeah. Um, so, you know, now that you had your, your funding partner, how did you get, uh, you know, Hayden and Tyler involved? Had you worked with either of them before, or was this just like a, like a normal casting call? Huh. We had a great casting director that Joe, you were, had worked with them before. Yeah. So I think you brought them on the team and, and, you know, let them read the script and they loved it. And Summer and I was like, you know, we started our like list. We get like a huge list of different actors that maybe would work for it. Mm -hmm. And then we talk, we put it together and present it to Carrie and, and we're like, all right, who should we go to and kind of thing. And, but like what really, I think with the cast, it was like, we lucked out. I mean, we have two Absolutely. actors in Tyler James Williams and Hayden Penitentiary that like people know as kids, kid actors. Right. And now you put them in this film now they're grown up. They're known for like, one's known for comedy. One's like, like you kind of relate to them because you grew up, you know, you watched them. So in different shows as they were kids, now they're adults and it's like, they could be anyone. And that's what, you know, it's Carrie, when you write the, when you wrote the script, it was like, this is ordinary people that become heroes, you know? And so I think that that was really key to it. So we, we lucked out. They really believed in the story and the script. Yeah. They, yeah. Took a chance on us too. You know, we zoomed with them. They didn't know me and, you know, and, they just knew, you know, they were, they were awesome. I still feel very fortunate that we had, they were the perfect actors at the perfect time to, to make this with us. Yeah. And their on-screen chemistry is really fun. You know, the, the, the banter back and forth is, you know, your script, but also just the way that they kind of interacted made yeah. you, made it feel very real, made you like, you know, want to root for both of them. Did you, you know, did they have any time beforehand to kind of like establish a rapport? Did you make them like drive a very long way to get to to get to filming so they had to like talk yeah, to each other or together from LA to Louisville together? No. No, we didn't. Um I but they didn't know each other at, they knew each other before when Hayden's Heroes was big and Tyler's Everyone Hates Chris, they both were really big at the same time. So they were kind of in the circuit together and knew of each other and, and had interacted before they got to play in our film together. That's awesome. No, and yeah, bringing up all that fun childhood trauma as an adult, it must've been perfect. <laughs> you know, I was in an Uber last night here, you know, in, um, in, in uh, Nashville. And it's like, when you get in an Uber, you don't know who this driver is. It's like two strangers that are, you're in a random car. And now you're supposed to be like, okay, drive me somewhere. So it's like, we were talking about it last night, just with this random Uber driver. So about the movie. And I was like, yeah, like he gets all, you know, you, you get, we're trusting people nowadays in these ride share programs. Like you go in there, you're just like, all right, pick me up, take me here. You don't know anything about the people. Yeah. Right. And so like this kind of story, and that's what really, you know, the, you know, Tyler and Hayden didn't have too much time to like reconnect beforehand. We shot it, but it's like, that's what happens when you get in a car and like that you're able to connect with some drivers. Right. And like you talk to them, some people you're like, I want to be left alone. I just want to drive. But in this case, yeah, they go on this major, you know, and, intense moment together. And we were able to shoot it pretty close to chronological order, which helped too with their, their development. And as it got to the end, they were more familiar. And, you know, you start off with that kind of the nerves of reconnecting and, and, um, you know, gaining more trust and, um, yeah, no, exactly. It, it's, it's, a, it's a natural progression and it, it yeah. makes it, it makes sense for the filming, you know, the, the filming timeline and it makes sense for the story too. So that's perfect. Yeah. So I know we have limited time. I'm going to switch to a lightning round. There's lightweight questions about the film. I want to see how your personal experience about the things in the movie. Feel free to skip any of them. I won't be offended, but I try to keep them very answerable. Okay. First question. Have you ever secretly followed a car? Yeah, I did. I just did this two weeks ago. There was a car parked in front of my house and it stayed there and it wouldn't leave. So I got in, I followed it and it kept moving and it went left, right? Finally, it stopped, got out and it was a cop. And he's like, I'm trying. He's like, you just busted my cover. I was sitting <laughs> in your house and it was, and then he's like, I got to go. I was like, dude, sorry. I'm a huge fan, but I just, why were you in my Remember I told you that? So that was just recently, like two weeks ago. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And that's probably the, the nicest way that that, you know, a, a confrontation with a cop after busting you know, his cover once gone, he so. came out, <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. safety first. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I've ever, no, I've never followed someone 
but I, when I get the Amber alerts, I always am looking around like crazy, but like, no, I have, I've never followed people like this. This is crazy. It was just, I never have either. <laughs> just happened. Yeah. Hey, but he's, he's just, he's just making sure that he understands the mental you know process of what's going on so that he can translate it onto the screen for Amber alert too. So that makes perfect sense. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, I was kind of scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. Uh, yeah. Really, Carrie? I think you already answered this one. The next question was going to be: Have you ever had to confront the driver, Carrie? You, you kind of did. Anyone else ever just had to like I, confront on, the driver? Yeah. No, yeah. So that was me. Yeah, I mean, I've been around people with road rage and stuff, but you know, I, I've never. No, I stay away from that kind of stuff. You never know what people have Dude, nowadays, man. Sure. It's wild, smart. Yeah, people are crazy. Stay safe. Stay safe and drive on. Exactly. Um, and the last question, I'm very curious. I don't, I don't know. Have either have, have you ever seen like an Amber Alert vehicle or called in a tip on an Amber Alert? Fortunately and unfortunately, I have not. I haven't either. Now, I think since, you know, being involved in this project, every time you get one, you look around even more and, and are very aware. We hope everyone who watches the film does the same, but luckily no yeah i mean i know what i would do if i see the car now like i'm definitely calling it in and i'm definitely going to see if i can stay at least track the person at least if i do do it i mean this movie will I but do, do you track it close or do you stay back a little so they don't know that you're tracking them probably i'll stay back a little okay yeah, yeah. you know i like give it. it some space yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Gotta, I, you gotta stay safe gotta yeah stay safe. yeah yeah i don't want to you know you have to give yourself time because they can turn off the road real quick yeah you know so, or we should get some of our production budget, get those Apple trackers. Yeah. And then you see them, you just toss it in the car. So then genius. put a magnet you know, on it. Put a magnet on it, you know. There you go. Yeah, that's a that's a great thing to hand out at the screenings, I guess. <laughs> yes, stay safe. <laughs> yeah. Stay safe. Think think of your cover story uh and uh yeah, follow from a safe distance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So the uh, so th thanks so much for talking to me. The film is Amber Alert. It's coming to select theaters and on demand September 27, 2024. This is uh, Carrie Balesa, Summer Balesa, and Joseph Restano. Thank you so much for your time. Thank Great. you so Thank much. Thank you. My name. Perfect. Thanks. Perfect. Yeah. That was Carrie Balesa, Summer Balesa, and Joseph Restano talking about Amber Alert, which is coming to select theaters and on demand on September 27, 2024. It is a tense thriller that has a really great setup that I think we have all worried about, a wonderful cast, and some twists along the way. If you like this interview, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. Make sure all my new content goes straight to you. Thank you.